show you guys some things. All right. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to install all the files that you'll need to import the 3D models from NBA 2K, whether it be 2K20, 19, 18, 17, into Blender 3D. Now, Blender 3D is the 3D program that you see here on your screen that allows you to manipulate um, manipulate the body models. All right. So today, that's what I'm going to show you. All right. Let's see. First and foremost, you're going to need that download Blender. So uh, I have multiple versions of Blender, but uh, Blender 2.79 is free. It is free. It is an open source program. You can download Blender 2.9 and it will work for you. All right. So once you have Blender installed, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You'll also need to download that link for the Blender add-ons. Okay. So the Blender add-ons is basically going to give you, it's going to give you a couple of things. Uh, it's going to give you, it's going to allow you to open up MEA 2K14 cyber faces and then it's going to allow you to open up 2K17, 18, 19, 20 as far as we know. Okay. So not 2K16, 2K16 um it won't the the tools I have won't allow you to open up 2K16 and I'm probably not going to do a tutorial on 2K16 just because that's a few years old now. All right, so download both of these, the zip file and this NBA 2K tools folder. And once you have that downloaded, as you can see, they're both highlighted here. I'm going to show you what to do. All right, let's see. You want to get over to whatever folder you have Blender installed in. Like if I go to Blender, I can go to properties and just go to open file location. So this this is 2.72, but hold on, let me go to my 2.79. All right, so this is where I have Blender 2.79 installed. You want to drag this NBA 2K Tools folder over to this folder here, where everything is. As you can see, I already have it in there, so it's asking me like I, I can just say no because I already have it right here. See, it's already in there. Um, now this 2K Tools folder is something that was created by Greg K. Waste, so he'll have his uh, README file in here. Now the reason why I have re-uploaded his file is because I went to his website to try and download it and do this tutorial, and it was taking me to uh, some questionable websites, it has some anime with some uh, questionable content that I can't even show on YouTube so I had to just re-upload this stuff to my Google Drive and so Greg K. Waste if you're watching this I'm not trying to take you know I'm not trying to take credit for your work it's just that you have ad links which lead to questionable pop-ups and uh, I don't want to get any viruses or I don't want to show any um, any adult content on this channel so I, I just had to go away from using your link now if you uh if you do see this video just hit me up i'll definitely send you a donation um yeah i'll definitely send you a donation man got no problem doing that anyway so let's move on after after we uh slide the after we copy the nba 2k tools folder over to our directory where we have our blender Dot exe file the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our main drive which for most people is going to be c drive and let's see and what we want to do is so i gotta go to my computer i'm sorry guys i'm everywhere right now i don't know what's going on let me just go to desktop gotta go to my computer go to C go to users and then find your user profile so here's mine right here call original I double click it and you want to make sure you go to folder options view and make sure you have 
this selected show hidden files folders and drives click OK and it says app data which is a hidden folder double click on app data double click on roaming find blender foundation then it has a folder called blender find the version of blender that you're using which most of you will only have one version so I click on 2.79 I'm gonna click on scripts add-ons and then from there that's where all everything that you see here is what I copied from the other from the zip file so I opened up the zip file I highlighted everything and I drag it into this add-ons folder right here I'm gonna press cancel right now but it's all in there so that when I go to blender what I do next is go to user preferences and well let me get up let me see. Um, go to user preferences it's probably gonna look like this and I just click user let me get rid of that I think I'm in the you know what let me get off of this and reopen blender because I'm actually in the wrong version of blender uh, 2.79 All right, here it is, Blender 2.79. So again, go to File, User Preferences, uh, Add-ons, and right now it has all the add-ons selected. I just want to click User, and then, as you can see here, none of none of my add-ons are enabled, but I'm going to click them. Yeah, there we go. I'm clicking them all. And so this first one allows me to open up 2K14 files. This one that says 2K17 will allow me to add uh, import files from 2K17 all the way up to the present 2K as of making this video. And then this last one is actually from uh, this last add-on is actually created by uh, Trevor JPT33. Um, I just kind of bundled everything together because I was trying to reinstall everything to uh, Blender 2.79 so I could get some some things to work. So, Trevor, if you want me to uh, take this out of here, out of this pack, I will definitely do that. But um, as of right now, like I'm leaving it in here because I'm trying to show everybody how to just quickly add all these add-ons. But anyway, this this is a, it's called UV Restore, which I might, I'll probably have another video on in the future. Uh, it's for a tool that allows you to have, add like 3D accessories like face masks and bandanas, ninja headbands, goggles, stuff like that. All right. But once you in, click these three boxes, everything is enabled. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to open up a 2K14 Cyberface file, you would just, come down to file import and then NBA 2k model format that's for 2k 14 I think 13 also if you wanted to export 2k 14 here file you just go to export NBA 2k model format click it um, if you want to open up 2k 19 files then go over to come here let's see let me get rid of this stuff And here it is down here. You just, um, actually, you can just move it up. And then this, that's what you would use so that you could, uh, import like some type of 3D file. Um, let's see if I got a file I can open up to show you guys that it does work. Uh, and you open up the scene files. You have to have the dot model file and the scene file in the same folder. You click on the scene file, press accept, click import, and bam, it loads it up. Let's see what it looks like. There you have it. All right. So there you go. And that's how you install everything. If you guys have any trouble with this video, 
just try uh, rewatching the video. You can slow the video speeds down. There are settings in the right corner of the video that YouTube allows you to slow videos down and rewatch them. I just thought it was time for me to remake this video, especially since um, Greg K. Waste's website now has ad links that have questionable pop ups on them. So, yeah, um, um, yeah, I'm not sure if, you know, people are going to be upset that I made this video or whatever. I never know how people are going to react to stuff on the Internet. This is the Internet. People make things open and available for people to use. But then, you know, if you come out and make a video or whatever, you never know how people are going to respond to the work that they've created, especially since I've, I've kind of packaged these things together and re-uploaded them. Um, I have no malicious intent. If you guys want me to take that stuff down, I'll take that stuff down and just remake this video all together. Um, but I definitely won't do it. I, won't, I can't make this video with, uh, like adult content popping up when you go to click on a link. So, all right, guys, that has been it for this video. I hope everything works out for you guys. This is, this should be helpful for all the guys trying to get into modding and learn how to mod, this is the very first step that you'll most likely have to take to get these three model, 3D models imported into uh, this 3D program called Blender 3D. Again, this is Blender 3D 2.79. Uh, thank you guys, you guys can support the channel by clicking the like button, leaving a comment, and or subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys, till next time, this has been TG So Good, I'm gone.